Well, howdy folks. I figured I'd give you an update on what's going on. It's been a while since I made a video and I just got back from my vacation to Ireland, which was interesting because I got stuck over there <laughs> because I had COVID. So I had to do my quarantining over there before I can come back. That's another story. I might make a video just on that. Anyways, I'm Kurt Zepatello and you're watching Astro Quest 1. Alright, so what, what do I have going on here? You saw me bringing out my telescope, which is out there, I think you can see it. Okay, so first off, I finally you got my ASI 2600 MC Pro, and I've got it connected up to my Canon 200 millimeter lens, which is gonna be my portable system. I have a filter drawer, and I've got the batter UV IR filter in here. This is actually two or 6.2 pounds when it's all said and done on the bar with the filter wheel, with the lens, the ring, and the guide package, guide scope package. So that's pretty light. And I hope to put this on to my iOptron Skyguider Pro and have a really neat, quick, portable setup. That's That was a whole option. After I get done doing some more testing with this, I'm gonna put my trusty rusty uh, AstroTech 115 back on here. Okay, so I've been imaging some, I've been doing really busy. I've been doing multiple imaging. I've been doing this and doing some test imaging with this and I've been using, uh, I've got a couple, two or three different projects going on with the, with the Celestron out there. And one of the things I do is I have a little note card here, as you can see, a note thing that I, I have a log when I image. I don't know if people do that or not. I do. So what I have out there on the 1600, or on the um, Celestron is I started the NGC 3190, which is Leo Quartet or Hickson 44. And I don't have a long time to image that. I've only got like two hours before it goes between some trees. And I also started the NGC 5906, the Splinter Galaxy, but I have to do that in a different location. I have to do that out in the front of my lawn. And I've actually got about seven hours, almost seven or eight hours on that, and so I think I'm done with that. I thought I was gonna uh, go after, there's some really neat star trails associated with that galaxy, but you, you've gotta have some specialized equipment or something like that. I, I, I didn't think it was gonna be that tough, but uh, it's going to be beyond me. I haven't seen anybody. I haven't seen too many people go after that. So um, I think I'm done with the Splinter Galaxy. That'll allow me more time to get this uh, Leo Quartet or Hickson 44, uh, which I've only got about four, three or four hours on it. And I think a couple more hours on that is going to really help out uh, that object. Now tonight's going to be an absolutely gorgeous night clear all night. As I said, I've only got two hours on the Leo Quartet, so by 11.30 I'll be done with that. So what I'm going to go to after that is I'm going to go after the Siamese Twins. I've always wanted to do those, but I've never had enough focal length until now. So that's what I think I'm going to start, and I'll get about five hours, four hours on that if I'm lucky. And if I get another clear night, then I can finish up on that as well, or keep going. I'm gonna start doing, when I do galaxies, I'm gonna start at least collecting five hours. And that five hours comes from Gary Eim, who is the quintessential, the expert on galaxies. If he's, I think he's imaged more galaxies. I dare say he's got probably got the best galaxy collection in the world the most robust, uh, and if you don't believe me, just go on his Astrobin site, uh, Gary Eim, and you'll be amazed at how many galaxies this guy's done, but he always makes it a point to get at least five hours on these uh, galaxies. The other thing that I'm doing now, or I'm gonna start doing, and that is what uh, Steve Miller is doing, and he says he's going after either 30 hours or 30 days on an object, whatever comes first. 
So for my galaxies, I'm at least getting five hours and then how long should I spend on a galaxy? Well, the 30 days or 30 hours, I'll never get close to 30 hours. I don't have that many clear nights and my field of view is not get that good. But anyways, um, for this thing, I'm done with my first test and I did M100 or that whole region. There's a whole bunch of galaxies. I mean, M100 would be a small target with this thing, but I didn't really have a, a nebula to look at because I don't have any nebula in my field of view right now. And so I just went for a large galaxy field and that was it. And it looks pretty cool actually. And I hope to have that process so you guys can see at the end of this video. My next target with this thing, my next test subject is going to be the Polaris region. And I think I'm going to focus in on SH2178, which is right near Polaris. And I've always wanted to get a lot of that intergalactic flux nebula stuff around the Polaris region. So I, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to give another go ahead. It'll probably be my fourth or fifth time trying to do it, but uh, hopefully I, I'll have some better luck this time with this camera. That's all I wanted to say for now. If I think of anything else, uh, I'll put it on here. Otherwise, uh, thanks for tuning in and have a good day and we'll see you later.